Hello everyone, Mountain Lion's just been released in the Mac App Store and here's a quick tour of the new features. So firstly we have the Notes app which has been made to look more like the iPad. You can sync it through iCloud to all your iDevices but you can choose to just save it locally. So if you make a new note on your Mac then it will go to, other, to all your other iDevices. Now another new feature here is the Reminders app. Now we've seen this feature in iOS 5 and it's very much the same. So you can tick off what reminders such as like appointments and things like that and you can set the time and stuff and it'll, notif it'll send a notification to when it's time. You can also see the calendar and things like that. So next we have iMessage. This replaces the old feature of iChat and it's very much like the other iDevices. You can easily insert emotions and things like that and all these conversations are synced through iCloud which go to your other iDevices as well. There's a, there's a small FaceTime button where you can easily FaceTime the person you're talking to and you can easily uh, insert HD video into it. So you just drag it into the iMessage app and just press enter and it'll get sent straight to your straight to the person you're talking to. So next we have notification center where you swipe from left to right on the trackpad or you can just click the button to open it up. This is this shows like notifications from other apps and you can choose whether you want a banner or alerts or, or nothing at all and it'll just come up in your notification bar. Another new feature is where you can switch between your accounts easily. So if you have more than one person using your Mac, then you can easily switch between different people using it. Next, uh, we have a voice dictation where you double tap the function key and you can easily just say what you want to type in into your notes or anything else. Now, another new feature is cloud uh, tabs for Safari. This syncs with iCloud to your other iDevices but for your iDevices it will only be available when you install iOS 6. You can also easily share your web pages to Facebook and Twitter however Facebook hasn't been introduced to it yet. Another new feature is the unified search bar in Safari. This We've seen this before in Google Chrome for the iDevices and this is a good feature where you can type in web pages or just Google search in one search bar. Um, next we we have the smaller launch pad where now a new, a new feature is that the dock is still in the launch pad so you can open it up and still see the dock and also you can search for apps so if you have a lot of apps you can find easily through the search bar. Now a new feature is Game Center which is synced with all your iOS devices so you can see all your your gamer scores and stuff from your iPhone and stuff and it brings it straight to here. So other features is Gatekeeper which allows control over, uh, over apps installed. PowerNap keeps your Mac updated while still in sleep mode and AirPlay mirroring to Apple TV. There's also better iCloud integration and it costs $13.99 on the App Store.